in your experience of sitting with people, what happens when they open up to these other frequencies in them generally? Do they, do we need help? Um, or do we have kind of an innate knowing about what to do? Or is there no way to kind of generalize it? <laughs> um, I think both. What I, what I notice is we all run up against fear and fear right. stops us. And what I learned on the river was to embrace the fear and have the fear help me. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was profound learning yeah. that really assisted me throughout my years because I've, at times I just, um, I see or I experience these realms of the deepest horror and hell and terror possible and at times it's taken me a while to figure this out but it's energy and as we rather than let the fear keep us stuck in this cycle of fear and terror we can begin to thank it and as we thank the fear it starts to transform it can't reside in a high frequency fear is a very very low frequency mm. love and gratitude are really high frequencies and they come down and they start to break up what i call the old bottom sludge <laughs> and as that gets broken up then it starts to flow and then as it flows in your body Mm. then it's like you're the river again. Mm. 